Hi, how's everyone doing today? Just a quick video on the Klipsch AW500 series indoor outdoor speakers. They consist of a 5 inch IMG woofer and a 1 inch horn tweeter compression driver. And I noticed that when I looked online that absolutely no one has been willing to tear into their new set of Klipsch speakers, so I figured I'd tear mine apart and show you guys what's inside just in case you need replacement parts as Klipsch has now discontinued them. And let you guys have a good look at the crossover network so you know just what's inside yours. On the crossover, if you ever lose track of the wiring when you have them apart, it's very easy to keep track. It's labeled woofer and tweeter on both of the main wiring. And to get into them, it's very easy. You just have to be careful and go slow. There's six screws on the front faceplate after you get the grill off. The grill comes off very easily. I just run a butter knife around the edge, but I'd recommend using something plastic or if using this method, being very, very careful. Once the front grill is removed, you'll need a T20 Torx to get the six screws out, and you'll very easily be able to work it out. Once again, I stress carefully, because it is an ABS cabinet. And once you've got that out, it's just four wiring disconnections, and you've got it out. There's a little bit of acoustic dampening material I've removed that hides in the back there. But other than that, that's all that's inside. Now, since everyone will be wondering, here's a close-up on the actual OEM. These are OEM untouched factory clips numbers on here. And here is the one inch horn tweeter. Just figured I'd make a video since there's absolutely no other info out there on these guys or what's inside and everyone seems to not know how to get inside them or want to take them apart. They're an amazing set of speakers, very durable, virtually unblowable. Be careful, you will very easily notice audible clipping because of the horn design. If you're overdriving them, you will definitely notice. Other than that, they do go quite loud. Outside, they're amazing. Inside, they're definitely enough to fill a two or 300 square foot room with it being all you need. And that's it for today. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe.